Sky Drone 5 over the towering California redwoods. It sounds strange, but some environmentalists say it's time to start logging again. One of the areas include Redwood Grove and Davenport, just north of Santa Cruz. KPX 5's Devin Feely explains the strategy to save the redwoods by cutting them. For anyone concerned about the fate of California's majestic redwoods, the plan likely sounds counterintuitive. Save the forests by logging them. Using science-based methods to thin those forests and accelerate the growth of the dominant trees, you can actually restore the natural function uh, and bring back the healthy forest ecosystem. San Francisco's Save the Redwoods League is planning to open thousands of acres of forest near the California-Oregon border to logging for the first time in decades. The environmental group says the area was logged heavily a century ago and is now a thick tangle of younger trees at risk of wildfire and unlikely to become a majestic redwood forest again without some help. But not all environmentalists are on board. I'm very concerned that um, doing any kind of commercial logging in our parks, state parks or national parks, um, has the potential to open up a can of a can of worms. Environmentalists say they want details. How many trees will be cut and which ones? So a lot of attention needs to be paid to the details of forest management. Brian Largay works for the Land Trust of Santa Cruz County, which is running a similar targeted logging program in the Brine Mill Iron Forest. The practice of logging uh, thins the forest, uh, resulting in fewer larger trees over time getting it back to the condition that existed prior to those devastating clear cuts. In the Santa Cruz Mountains, Devin Feely, KPIX 5.